to Trish and Samora. We are excited to have you here. Today we'll be talking about an interesting topic. You've already seen it on the description below and the title of today's video. Today's video, I'm going to talk to you about skills for a healthy relationship. Skills for a healthy relationship. If you have not subscribed yet, kindly click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that each time you post a new video, you will be notified. We love you so much. Let's go straight into today's video. Skills for a healthy relationship. The first skill you need to have is how to find the right man. And if you know how to find the best man, it helps you not to select poorly. And you have not watched the video on how to find a man or how to find the best man, I'll put it in the description below, click on it and watch it. Two, you need to develop emotional competence. Yes, you need to develop emotional competence or have an emotional intelligence. You have to be intelligent emotionally. You have to have the ability to regulate your emotions. A lot of people don't know how to regulate their emotions. That's why when something happens, they jump out of proportion and behave in a way that when you hear it, you are surprised. So if you want to have a healthy relationship, you need to know how to regulate your emotion and i'm going to give you four pointers on how to regulate your emotions the good thing about knowing how to regulate your emotion is that it helps you to gain some self-respect for yourself and then other people respecting you do not put your happiness in somebody learn to be happy whether you're in a relationship or not don't put your happiness in somebody. When you do that, when something little happens, you end up jumping out of proportion or reacting in a manner that is not acceptable. So learn to love yourself, learn to be happy, whether you're in a relationship or not. In learning to be happy, you should ask yourself, who are you? How do you want people to see you? Who is you without this person? If you understand that, it will make you take charge of that relationship. Number two, not act impulsively. Give people the benefit of the doubt concerning issues before you act towards them. The third point, think deeply about the situation before you act. Ask yourself, what are the pros and cons to the action you are about to take? Would making this decision make you happy or not? It is not easy. For example, if you want to break up with somebody, it is not easy to break up. You have to ask yourself whether the relationship is worth it or not. If it is not worth it, you walk out of it. So when you think deeply before you make such a decision, when you walk out of it and you are even tempted to go back, because you thought deeply about the situation before you left, it makes you not to just go back into the relationship, but rather standing on the decision you have made. The fourth thing is not responding to everything in the relationship. Some of the things that happen, just pretend as if you've not seen it. Yes, just pretend as if you've not seen it. So that's an emotional intelligence. You understand your emotions, you understand the emotions of others, and you decide on which of them to respond to. So these are the four skills you need to know, or the four pointers you need to know under emotional competence, or emotional regulation, or emotional intelligence, which is the second skill. The third skill I'll be talking about is learn to be honest and make commitment to each other. Some people are afraid of commitment. If you love this person and you want to spend the rest of your life with that person, then you should make some commitment. Don't become like Konongokaya. You are inside. You are not inside. You now you are not inside, but you don't want the person to go. Be inside, so you don't want to be inside. So you have to make a commitment. You have to be honest. 
Be honest and tell the person, you know what, this is how I feel. Or of late, this is my thought concerning this. Talk about it. Be honest to each other. If you don't love the person, let the person know that I don't love you. If you are struggling to love the person, let the person know that you know what, I'm struggling to love you. So be honest with each other. That's the third skill you need. The fourth skill is communication. Communication cannot be overemphasized. It is important to communicate with each other. Communicate with each other. Get to know the person more. Ask clear and precise questions. Be transparent to each other. Communicate your fears, your aspiration, your desires with each other. Flow well. Like I said, if you have a good connection, it will be easy for you to flow well with the man or the woman you have chosen. So let's learn to talk with our partners in the relationship. When you do this, it helps you to make the relationship a healthy one. The last thing I want to talk about is evaluation. Yes, you have to review your relationship. You have to evaluate it. You can do it quarterly. You can do it annually. You know, you should have an honest conversation. How have you guys gone in the relationship? How are things? What do you want to improve upon in the relationship? You have to talk about it and work on each other. I want to tell you that it's not easy having an evaluation. Sometimes in the midst of the evaluation, heated arguments comes up and all that. But you need to evaluate the relationship. What didn't you do well? What should you do well the next time? I mean, and when you are talking to each other, you should do it in a nice way so that you don't make the other person feel inferior. Thank you so much for watching. If you love this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like. If our video, like them, share it to other people. We love you, Princess Nanda.